Chapter 14 The Storm The shadow over my head grew. The wind picked up and the temperature dropped fast. It was following me. I started running but couldn't escape it. The wind knocked me over into a bush. I curled up into a ball and said a prayer. I wasn't the religious type, but I was freaking out, and this thing looked like something biblical. The black cloud spun and shot out lightning. I screamed, help, what's happening? And then, explosion. The storm crashed down on me, spinning me into a cyclone. I lost consciousness. And there he was, the old man, standing over me with a soothing smile. This time was different than my dreams. Everything behind the old man was just a blanket of white. He blended into it. He didn't say anything and took hold of my hand. We were transported to some other world. At first, I couldn't see anything. The whiteness changed to purple and orange clouds. There was this music, incredible music. I didn't recognize it as any song or even what instruments were playing. And there were these angelic voices singing to the music. I was lost in this world. I wanted it to go on and on, but the old man touched my shoulder and the music faded. What do you think of this ultimate dimension? The old man asked me telepathically. Where are we? This, Charlie Estrella, is your reward. This is some mistake. I'm Charlie Starziak. You are Charlie Estrella, the brightest of bright stars. I don't understand what's happening. I am your shield, Charlie. I come from this dimension. My goal is to help guide you toward the right path and ensure that you find your destiny. What is my destiny? You have a talent, Charlie. Your music, it naturally flows through you. But you yearn for more, and this you shall receive. You are about to be bestowed a magical gift, Charlie. Use this gift to find your destiny. You are the final and greatest recipient of this gift. Please meet the others. And one by one, I felt hands placed on my shoulders. As each hand rested on me, my shield's face became their face. B.B. King, Chuck Berry, Dwayne Allman, Frank Zappa, Terry Kath, Randy Rhodes, Les Paul, Roy Clark, Chet Atkins, Glenn Campbell, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and finally, Jimi Hendrix. My shield's voice changed to Jimmy's, and he spoke to me. Use this gift wisely, Charlie. You will encounter obstacles. Your path will not always be clear, and you may become clouded by dark influences. Stay the course, young man, Jimmy's voice echoed. And then Hendrix morphed back to the old man, and he telepathically added a very distressing message. Charlie, there is something else you must know. Your stay in your present dimension is but temporary. As soon as you attain your destiny, you will return to this, your utopian dimension. What does that mean, S.H.I.E.L.D.? Do not fear the ultimate dimension, and remember to stay focused on your true destiny. And then everything went white again. I didn't want to believe it. I still don't want to believe it. At least the part about my early demise. I woke up in the same bush, curled up in a tight fetal position, coughing up dust. It took several minutes to get my bearings. When my vision finally cleared, my eyes were amazed. First thing I noticed was the complete stillness in the air. No breeze at all. No darkness. No clouds. There were no cars or people on the street. So odd. Thought I was in the twilight zone. I lifted my head. The sunset was glowing. The sky was purple and orange. It was magnificent. As I stood, I felt this surge slam through me. It was an electrical jolt that started in my spine and rippled through every nerve of my body. I convulsed, but not in pain. In fact, it was beyond orgasmic. It was far greater than any sensation I had felt or that I have felt since. There was this energy racing through me. I knew I had to harness it. I knew my shield was correct and my visit to the other dimension was real. I had to find my destiny and I did not want to die. From that day forward, I was Charlie Estrella.